YouTube, what the Total War Shogun 2 is going on. Heir of Carthage here. Uh, ready to get back into the Takeda campaign, where we're going to be fighting a battle against the Ikoiki. They're still being a nuisance on our border, so we're going to have to beat them back. I do have a pretty substantial castle here, so should be able to defend it unless I screw up, which is always a possibility. So we'll keep our eye out for said possibility. I'll, I'll tell you one thing. My Hemyar campaign right now is looking rough. I don't know if I'm going to make it out of that one. Um, I always try and make the campaigns entertaining for you, and so in the past, like on this one and others, I've kind of gone back and replayed it, and a lot of people don't mind that. Probably the majority of people don't mind it, but I always get some whiners after me that are like, yeah, why'd you do that? I wanted to see. You never should. So on the him, okay, yes, I'm over-exaggerating what you're doing, and I'm making fun of you a little, but not, not to be serious, so don't take any offense. I'm just giving you a hard time because what you're going to hear is something you like. You'll enjoy this. I'm going to play that one, and if I get beat, then I'll go back and correct it. So I'll let you all see me struggle with it since some of you seem to be pretty happy about the idea of me struggling with something. I don't know what it's going to prove, but if it entertains you, I guess that's the point of my channel, right? I'm, I'm here to entertain you, so I will see what I can do to entertain you. Um, let's see. Uh, where is my general? He's in this one with all the uh, chevrons. We want to keep him out of combat, if possible. Not that my guys would route up here anyway. He would definitely be one of the better Ashigaru units I have here. Let's go ahead and start this. See where the Ikoiki are coming from and with what types of units. Got a bow ronin over here. Let's see what they got over here. Here they are. Just three Iko Yari Ashigaru coming from that way. There's another group of them back here that are temporarily hidden from my view. Not quite sure why. We'll wait for them to pop back up. There they are. So two more Bow Ronin on that side. And the Bow Ronin over there are going to come head to head with the tower pretty early. That's good, actually. So... Yeah, I think I've got a little plan together. Let's, um... Let's get all of our Yari Ashigari back this way. Let's get our two Bow Ashigaru over here. And we'll focus kind of a kill zone on those guys, and we'll let the other guys crawl up into the keep. Because I'm not particularly worried about it. Only one bow coming from this side. So really I really want to keep my eye on the bows right now. Because I don't want them getting behind me and shooting me up. The rest of these guys I think we can defeat in melee combat. They've just brought Yari Ashigaru. So they're not going to be particularly powerful in melee. Yari Ashigaru um, for the Iko Iki tend to have higher morale. But lower, lower stats in general. I'm going to get these guys up on the walls. Where they have better cover. And I'll let them continue to shoot down into the, uh, the different bow ronin. Might actually come down here because I don't want them to capture... They're just going to ignore my bows and start firing at my uh, infantry. That is a very typical behavior for the AI on Shogun 2. I'm going to bring this Yari Ash down here, though, to defeat theirs. I don't know what they're going to hear. Their bow ronin are actually climbing up the walls. I don't want them to capture this tower for too long, because it's going to return a lot of fire on me. Okay, these guys are going to start crawling up over here. No, no bows over there, so that's actually not a big deal. I'm going to garrison... Actually, I don't want to garrison them. I'd rather them run in spear wall. Let's put them right there. Let's get these guys over here too. Okay, I've got my uh, Yari Ashigaru into combat with their own guy. Oh, they're just going straight up the walls after my Bo Ashigaru over here. Let's bring these uh, samurai retainers over to finish these guys off. The uh, Iko Iki are getting way too gutsy with their Bo Ronin over here. They definitely should not use them this way. We've kept them from 
capturing the tower for a mo actually they're recapturing it now I thought some of my guys would make it into the circle but they did not that kind of sucks attack the guys over here that are on the wall yeah they're standing right here in front of you attack those guys please okay just get on the wall how about you start attacking him that way okay now my guys are just sitting here like idiots Okay, garrison the wall. Please kill those guys. My Yari Shigaru are doing well over there, despite the fact that 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 tower is there. But it's because I have bowmen supporting. Let's let's look elsewhere. My tower is going to be getting some free kills there. This is going to be a good spot for me. We'll just spear wall, and we should be able to hold those guys off. They're going to move up with um, several units here. Like I said, they're going to take a little bit of damage, which is good. I'm going to get two more Yari Shigaru. Get them spear walled through here. Probably like that. Okay, they've captured another tower, but we're gonna take this one back. Let's get our bows recalled. Uh, let's take them off fire at will. We've still got flaming arrows. Let's get these units back here out of the way. Samurai retainers. Let's use them to help protect this flank over here. Go attack those guys. Tower's back in our control, so we'll bring these guys back up. Here's another uh, bow Ronin coming in right there. I'll get my two bows to focus fire on it. Um, leave them go in there. Target the bow Ronin. Just going to go into uh, spear wall here to kind of hold off any rush they send at me. My samurai retainers ought to help me mop up the, uh, the Yari Ashigaru over here. They'll be quite good. In that fight, it looks like they're going for my tower once again or something. Don't think that's gonna be a good idea for them. Their unit's kind of broken up weird, though. I don't know exactly why. But yeah, in, in spear wall, my guys will do quite well up here. We're getting flaming volleys into their uh, bow ronin, which is badly damaged at this point. They do have that tower captured, which is gonna cause me some losses that I don't want. But uh, we'll be all right. Let's start moving reinforcements into position. Okay. The Bow Ronin is nearly gone. I'll let you all see them up close. Definitely a cool looking unit. Um, they're kind of like a mercenary bow samurai almost. If I understood it right, a, a Ronin was a samurai with no master. Is that, is that right? Don't exactly know all the uh, ins and outs of Sengoku Japan. All their guys are climbing up the walls over here now, which is good. I'm going to pull my bows this way and fire into their flank. Uh, the enemy tower there will be firing at me, but their guys are going to fare quite poorly here. You can actually see some guys with little monk-type hoods amongst the Ikoiki. Um, and I've got a secondary spear wall. So my, my guy's hiding behind two spear walls. I've now got these archers here. We can fire into the flank, and we'll watch the damage that that does. It's going to be pretty severe. Nice beheading going on there of one of my guys. Just I expect my guys are going to fire into the flank. There they go. You can now see uh, my bowmen firing into the side of these Ikoiki units. It will definitely break them. Let's go ahead and move in. The Yari. My Boashigaru are actually getting attacked now. Let's go ahead and pull back. I can bring my general up here too. Yeah, the Ikoiki are going to be suffering pretty badly here. Their generals are going to go ahead and start climbing the wall. They've been defeated everywhere else, which is good. We can bring the Samurai Retainers over for help against the enemy general. But the, the enemy general will probably rout before we ever get into a hand to hand combat. One of my units here is fighting to the death down to six men. Not really good. I'm probably going to have to retrain that unit, but um, maybe not. We'll see. I'm going to pull it back. It did a good job. Got 111 kills. I'm not going to have another flaming volley in time for the enemy general, but I'll keep these samurai retainers in reserve to help uh, come after any remaining guys. I'm going to put several wall, uh, spear walls deep here. Just 
bring more spear walls up. Uh, that tower is probably causing me some of my losses. It, yeah, it should be firing over towards my men. Yeah, this unit's under fire here. So, you see the enemy general is already wavering. It's probably expected. They're going to be in pretty rough shape here. I'm going to start firing my bows at them. Pull up my samurai retainers to come fight these guys right off the bat. If this unit uh, routes, it's probably going to insta-route the rest of their army. I don't have a way to chase down their units really, unfortunately. Let's get this samurai retainer in here. My bows should open fire though. They don't have like the cleanest shots, so they probably won't be super heavy fire rolling in here. And I'm just as likely to hit some of my own samurai retainers, but the samurai retainer is just a garrison unit. It'll come back. So yeah, the Iko Iki going to be taking bow fire, duking it out. Very beautiful scene. Looks like both enemy units are routing and under fire as they route. That's going to be the end of the Iko Iki invasion. Pretty easy to defend these larger castles if you do it right. It kind of also depends on the units the AI brings. The, the more skirmish heavy builds that they bring into these things, the better it is for you when it comes to defense. If they use those skirmish builds properly, that would probably not be the case, but the AI struggles to use a skirmish build properly. I'm not going to promote this guy. <laughs> Look at that. Far more Ikuiki troops coming up. We better move our main army up to help defend there, which we will absolutely do. The Ikuiki definitely need a beating, but I can't move into their provinces and take them or else it'll tip off a realm divide. So here, though, I can move up my army uh, to be able to face... Holy bow, Ronin. That is absolutely ridiculous. It's too bad I don't have any katana cavalry. Teach these guys a lesson in pain and suffering. All right, now some of you have been making some good points. Some of my provinces have some, some bonuses they could give me that'll be very uh, helpful. I read those comments. I'll see how many of them I can remember at the moment. We have a Fletcher's here, and... Um, in Hitachi, and as you can see, it provides an extra 10 accuracy to units recruited. Um, plus, we get uh, plus 5 checks a chest of luxury goods. Who, who doesn't like that? So, we also have a market and a Buddhist temple. Uh, if we get the upgrade to monastery, we could make bow warrior monks uh, in, this, in this particular province, which would be pretty sweet. Um, having some bow warrior monks would not upset me. So I think I am going to go ahead and build an archery dojo here. And uh, we'll keep an eye on that. Up here at Etch... Or, yeah, it was Etchism? I don't know. Echigo. What used to be the Uesegi home province. Um, we've got a monastery and a foot archery range. Actually, we could probably go ahead and just train all this here. We sure can. And if we build the Naginata dojo, we can get that. Yeah, so never mind. Uh, I mean, if we built them in Hitachi, I would get extra bonuses to those troops, which is good, don't get me wrong. Um, but I'm questioning whether or not we really need that. Let's see, it comes from an artisan. You can either build the Fletcher or the Paper Mill. The Paper Mill might be... Paper mill is better for me, economically speaking, and I'm probably not going to use the the boost to the archers here. And, and the reason is, is just because I, I don't need to be training these guys in two provinces, and it's just easier to already train them in Echigo. I don't even have to do any research because the USEC already built this thing up for me. So, and I don't think we can actually train Naginata Warrior Monk Cab. I think that only the Iko Iki can do that in campaign. So I'm actually not going to build the foot archery range there. I understand what you all are getting at, but um, don't, don't think that it's really going to fully benefit me there, if that makes sense. I'll think about what else I want to put in there. I, I definitely get where you all are going. I, I see it. I'm just I'm not sure I'm completely sold on it just yet. Decay to fire calf. We'd need proving grounds up here to get decay to fire calf, but we'd have to do some research. So part of me wonders if maybe we shouldn't just build a sword school up here in Echigo instead. And then maybe we can come down here to Hitachi and 
we could put if we did put a stables in instead of the Buddhist temple we could maybe do some bow cavalry down here of course I don't know how helpful bow cavalry would really be could be helpful and probably rather just have bow warrior monks or something to that uh, effect so yeah it, let's let's do something else just real quick let's take a look at the different provinces by wealth so if we sort by wealth Izu is our most uh, wealthy province and it has a Metsuke overseeing it. Kaga is the next and it has a Metsuke overseeing it. Kozuke is the next and it does not have a Metsuke overseeing it, so we should certainly recruit a Metsuke there. Echizen follows that. And we do not have a Metsuke here either. So, and I cannot recruit a Metsuke here. Let's find the closest market town. Here we go. So we need to get that uh, Matsuke into Etchison, and then Hida is the next one, and we have a Matsuke sitting there. Um, so we'll take care of all those. I definitely want to make sure I have all my agents helping to boost my economy. Um, we can pretty much just be upgrading farms at will, and roads, and trading ports, and uh, basically anything we want uh, at this point. I'm going to build the trading port and then upgrade to the Nanban trading port. It will try and spread some Christianity, but I can use a monk to help counteract it. It'll give me a little extra trade. Got an armor and a weapon smith down here at Sagami, so Sagami might actually be the best place for... Plus two melee attack for Ashigaru and Samurai, and this one's plus two armor. This could actually be a pretty interesting place to train some Naginata Samurai. Um, and if we can get their armor boosted way up, and then um, just get them some experience through combat, that would be pretty sweet units to have. Uh, the Ari Samurai with extra armor are pretty sweet too. I'm going to go ahead and rebuild an armor here too. That's going to take some money, but that will be worth it. And we'll just kind of keep taking a look at these different provinces and what we have available to us. I've got uh, Takeda Shingen here still. Um, trying to remember if we put that other army over here to keep the Hattori out, but they're no longer on our flank, so we should be good. Research-wise, we're about to finish this thing that'll give us better farms. Um, fortified Monastery, Merchant Guild. There's the actual monastery probably wouldn't hurt to go after that still, but I also really want to get to the, the match locks. But it's going to require a considerable amount more research to get to the match lock samurai. Could potentially get fire projecting mangonels. We also need to get this library upgraded, and that honestly ought to be how far is it to calligraphy? It's all the way down here, so 7 plus 12. Confucian Academy to Law Court. Do we already have the Confucian Academy here? No, that's just a school. Oh, it's not ours. <laughs> Confucian Academy. Oh, it enables the building of the Confucian Academy and the Law Court. I got it. I got it. I'm not gonna have a warrior monk hero, boy, that would be fun. Okay, let's see here. Uh, let's see, plus two, plus one to overseeing towns is probably gonna be gonna be the best one for me. Let's see, counter counter spying I'm not interested in. Let's go to overseeing towns, because that's really what I want my Metsuke's to be good at. And recruiting them, their Kozuke is pretty handy because they come out with those um, buffs all built in. We need to train out some monks too. Uh, might as well go ahead and pop another one out here, because we don't have any money left on this turn. Just trying to get as prepared as I can 
you know, you never know when something on one of these turn-ins could inadvertently tip off Realm Divide. I've seen it happen to me before when I didn't want it to. So I'm just going to um, take it easy, basically. Three-legged cow, plus two melee attack. Yeah, let's t let's do that. All right, so it is winter time. These Ikoiki scum down here are gonna take some attrition. Is there some reason why I can't get to that army? I guess this one's in the way. There we go. Just do a little bit of sabotage. I'm gonna. I want to keep these guys. Well, I want to keep them where they're at so that they can't get around my uh, area of influence back there. So we need this guy up here in Etchison. Let's remind myself. Etchison, Kozuke. And this guy can take care of Kozuke. And then Hida is the last one we needed. I might actually go ahead and train this guy from Kozuke because he's coming out with upgrades, which is pretty nice. So let's go ahead and recruit one more Metsuke. And we're going to overseeing towns again, which is perfect. Give him two more. So these guys are going to come out with plus three to overseeing towns. And we're just going to get him up here to, to, to Tahita. Okay. We can finish upgrading farms as well, which is not going to hurt. Three turns till we get that. We don't really have a lot of trade agreements, so it's not like getting this extra tariff thing is going to make me rich. But um, might as well. We can only upgrade one farm this turn. Nothing wrong with that. Let's go ahead and end the turn. I don't, I don't want to train any extra samurai troops just this moment, because I'd like to use the money to be able to build more buildings and stuff. Um, looks like they might be able to get around my area of influence there anyway. Yeah, it looks like the Iko Iki can actually get around my area of influence. I should have been a little further out. I don't think these guys can get reinforced though. They can't. Alright, so if I stand right there, that should definitely block their ability to, to get around me, and I'm still reinforced by the city. So, we'll be in good shape where we're at right there. I still can't get to this army, because the other one's in the way. That's pretty irritating. Yeah, that's actually really irritating. Uh, income's going up nicely. It's good to see. If we can get a master armor up here. Wow, and we've and we've got a um, Buddhist temple here. I wonder if we did like the master armor Buddhist temple in a Naginata dojo, and you could get um, you could get Naginata monks that actually had some armor on them. I don't know because it's a samurai crap. I don't know if it covers monks. Or yeah, it does. Plus three armor for warrior monks. Ooh, that would make the warrior monks substantially stronger. I'm gonna have to. Tinker around with some of this stuff. Sounds sounds pretty good, to be honest. Got stuff building there. What, what were we going to do here? So if I did the Buddhist temple... I don't know if we still need it. I said I was going to build a sword school here, but I don't even think a sword school makes sense. It really doesn't, actually. Maybe let's go ahead and put the uh, siege engineer back here, because it's not a whole... I mean, the Fletcher would... But yeah, the accuracy of units. Yeah, accuracy. So anything with accuracy. So let's put the siege engineer's workshop back here. And let's see, are there any other farms that I can go ahead and get? Yeah. Let's go ahead and hit the farms. I want to make sure we got those things going. This Metsuke needs to get up here to Hida. Like I said, Metsukes kind of act like the uh, Ishin Shishi form, or the, uh, the Geisha uh, do in Follow the Samurai. It looks like the Mogami knocked out the Uesegi for us. No war with the uh, Mogami right now, which is good. Um, it'd really be pleasant if they would trade with me. I don't know, they are trading with me, good. Uh, hopefully they maintain some degree of friendliness with me then. The Hanma wish to trade? We'll do that. 
I wonder if the Chosokabe wish to trade. I have better things to do. Eh, they want money, so we'll tell them to shove off. Let's check the Mori. Yep. Speak. Good. That drove up my income some more. Eventually, I'm going to raise my taxes. Like I can show you all. Like uh, right now, I'm running on lower taxes because it's helping the town growth, which earlier in the game is good for me. Later on, it just doesn't matter as much. So I mean, you can see that if I raise my taxes up, um, we could sustain normal level taxes, which would take my income all the way up to 6,300 per turn, which is pretty good. It's nothing special, but I mean, it's pretty good. But we'll leave it on low. That's gonna continue to give a, a boost to uh, public order and and. Uh, growth rates in our towns. We're starting to get a little excess food, which is nice. We even have a whole other tier of farm upgrade that we're about to be able to run. So nothing wrong with that. We don't have enough money to upgrade any other buildings really at this point. So let's see, our ninja is detected. Well, let's just use him to be a pest. How about that? Hopefully get him some experience along the way. Pop this monk out here. Probably wouldn't hurt to go ahead and get this monk up here and just let him start getting some experience too. We can get our Matsuke into Echizen. It should also boost the morale of our garrison. Or no, the monk will boost the morale of our garrison. I don't remember exactly what the Matsuke has effect on an army as far as that goes. Okay, North Shinano, let's go ahead and end this turn. As we get this last Matsuke in place, we should see income pop up. Here we're going to get attacked by the uh, the Bow Ronin spam. And I just need to remember to be patient here. Um, use my bows some before I just send my cavalry straight in. Use a lot of this infantry. I needed to retrain a couple of those Yoriyashigaru here. Um, let's go ahead and take control of the large army and fight this battle. Preparation going pretty good so far. No nothing too crazy happening yet. I'm not going to hold my breath because you never know just how this kind of thing is going to turn out. Sometimes it can go quite badly. But uh, if things continue the way they are and I churn out several more episodes of kind of this preparation, this building, you all will see me being able to get some awesome armies ready, get my income prepared that way whenever. Realm Divide comes, there won't be any question who's dominant. I got the Mogami who are behind me. I'm going to have to be able to fund probably no less than five good armies. Two to take out the Mogami immediately, and then three to be able to hold the other front or to push forward. Um, and uh, eventually we can get all five armies working forward. We're going to need a navy um, eventually, probably two of them. One on each side of Honshu would be preferable. We can live without a navy. I don't know how good the AI is at, at coordinating um, naval uh, landings and incursions on this versus Fall of the Samurai, but they do it sometimes on Fall of the Samurai, so I'm assuming that they can do it here too if they want to. And uh, should be able to stop them if we have a proper navy. Let's see what we can do with my bow cavalry. I might just keep it way out to the flank, see if we can lure some enemy units out. We're going to get reinforcements coming from this side. So I'm going to just kind of hold my ground back here in a defensive position. And then we'll run up the flank of the... Uh... We'll go ahead and make sure that we've got kind of a crescent shape over there. Reinforcements over here. Got my bow cav. Let's go hide our bow cavalry up here in the woods. I'll get on my Yariashigaru and TUS uh, spear wall when the time arrives. Okay, here's my reinforcements. Start rushing over here as quickly as possible. The sooner you get there, the better. Okay, this is the part where we're gonna need to make good here. Don't wanna do fire at will. Let's go into slow motion and see what's approaching us. So Bo Ronin coming in here. I want to focus them. Oh, there's a crap load of Bo Ronin. 
Actually, this this kind of makes me want to just infantry push. I'm going to pause it real quick. I'm going to infantry push because they've got so many Bo Ronin. Let's, uh... I'm going to go ahead and give these guys a run order forward, and I'll go into Yari Wall at the last second. This is going to be tricky. I'm going to have to give some focus fire orders here on Bo Ronin. And let's get light cav moving. The Bo Ronin can hurt my light cav bad in melee. Um, my general does not have stand and fight, but he's got inspire and other stuff, so we'll keep him there. Let's go ahead and uh, hit plate. Um, I actually need to get all these Yari Ash selected again in order to get into spear wall in time. So yeah, I'm going to infantry rush to, to basically close the gap and help hurt the bow runner's chances. Now I can get into... Okay, actually keep targeting Bo Ronin. Okay, get around the flanks. Get around the flanks. Get around the flanks. Okay, we've got our guys in the center into spear wall. We ought to do pretty well. My bows are returning fire on Bo Ronin. We got intercepted by a general over here. Let's bring my uh, Takeda bow cavalry around to get some shots into the back of these general units. We're taking out Bow Ronin quite nicely here. My Yari Ashigaru have broken through. That's also going to put additional pressure on the Bow Ronin. Let's pin that general down. I thought I was doing a melee attack here, but I didn't successfully. There we go. I'm going to pin the general down in melee. Got a lot of Bow Ronin fleeing. The enemy general just died, so we should, we should see a general chain route here. Uh, what happened to my other light? Oh, my other light cap got absolutely destroyed by an Ashigaru that I did not see. I'm gonna have to pull back over here. Let's pull my general back over here to a safer position. We're being rushed by a Iku Iki Yari Ashigaru over here. Is that a spear wall and attack it? My bows actually did a very admirable job here, and my cavalry on this flank did good. My other flank, I totally lost track of my cav and got flattened. Let's get into the back of this, get out of spear wall, get over here. The Iko Iki had reinforcements as well, which is what we're seeing now. Let's get my general over here. My bows can come back around. Let's get our Yari Ashigaru in there to help support that fight. All this is bow ronin over here, so let's go after them with our cavalry. We can now come over here and support this fight with more infantry as well, pour more infantry in there. I'm gonna just straight up charge into these bow ronin and fling around for a rear charge with my bow cavalry. My lord, a glorious victory will soon be yours. There we go. Managed to break these guys. So ends up being a nice solid victory over the Iko Iki on open ground. Sorry I didn't get you a ton of close-ups there. The battles do happen pretty quick in Shogun 2, and as you saw, my Miss Micro cost me a couple of light cavalry that I'm going to have to get retrained, so that's frustrating. Might be time to consider upgrading those guys. I'm, I'm thinking about whether or not I want to go to Yari Cav or just get like Fire Cav or something. Fire Cav would probably be a nice crossover unit that's stronger than Yari Cav, but still has a good charge. Katana Cav is not good versus other Cav. But I don't know, with enough upgrades, it would do pretty well against general units. The AI does not always make very good use of cavalry anyway, so that's why Katana Cav is potentially of interest to me. I'll certainly have to consider it. Got some ports blockaded, which kind of smells. Our food supply is going up. Definitely good news. Let's go ahead and uh, retrain that Ashigaru that we lost there here. We've got the option to bring in some more cavalry. Um, we can get Takeda Yari Cav. I don't really think we need another Bow Cav. Though Takeda Bow Cavalry does have a boost to melee attack, which is kind of nice. It's still not particularly good melee attack. Fire Cav comes with 12, and Katana Cav has 22 melee attack, which is just absolutely outstanding. But it is slower. Um, but man, they, they would be very, very good at cleaning up enemy archers. But then again, so would Fire Cav, because of that 30 charge bonus. Uh, very nice charge bonus. Hmm. Gonna have to think about that one. That's that's gonna be a decision 
for the upcoming episodes. Tell me what you think. Fire Cav? Um, which, you know, obviously I'd love to represent some Fire Cav since I'm the Takeda. Or do you think I should get some more Katana Cav? A little bit of a mix? Like, what do you all think? Give me your input. I think we, we're we going to finish our research on the next turn, which is good. We've upgraded a lot of the farms, um, and we've got some roads to upgrade there on top of that, so should be in pretty good shape. My last Metsuke is now in place, so we should be seeing nice improved um, income in all of our top provinces, making the most, of course, where the gold mine is at, no big surprise. But we should start to see the income in these towns improve because the, uh, the Metsuke should be adding a nice growth um, boost. I think that's what they do. Yeah, either that or they increase the, the tax. Is that it? Province wealth tax rate's 29. It may be that they increase the tax rate. Yeah, that's what they're doing. They're increasing the tax rate. Um, and I don't know if it gives me any penalty from it either. So we look at town growth. Uh, it's good. It's plus 12. Yeah, tax level is only minus 2 because I'm on normal tax. So the plus 12 per turn is quite nice. Um, and at a 29% tax rate, it turns out pretty nice for us here. So that's where you can see it's the total town wealth is 41.90, and then I'm getting 29% of that back in, in a tax return. So definitely looking pretty good. This is the gold mining complex. That's the most most I can get out of it. Though we could build a rice exchange here too and uh, make things even better. But we'll, we'll work on all this. Like I said, we got more episodes upcoming, more money to spend on it. Air of Carthage, signing off for now.